The message to the Council is clear. The international community must build consensus for a broader framework for engagement or face an increasingly desperate reality shaped by extremist voices and unilateral actions. The situation in the occupied Palestinian territory continues to deteriorate and we have seen no progress towards realizing a two-state solution. This political stagnation is fueling tension, instability and a deepening sense of hopelessness. The security situation in Gaza remains fragile and security dynamics in the occupied West Bank, including East Jerusalem, are deteriorating, including growing tensions in and around the holy sites. Settlement activity, evictions, demolitions and seizure of Palestinian property ISF military operations, particularly in Area A, and movement and access restrictions, including the severe closure in Gaza, further feed the cycle of violence. Council also heard from the U.S. Middle East Project, an organization focused on advancing a mutually dignified and acceptable resolution to the conflict that put forward three core concepts. First, the need for the Palestinian Liberation Organization to become fully representative and inclusive of all Palestinians, while not ignoring groups with a limited mandate repressing their own people. Second, the need to address the accountability deficit when it comes to Israel's actions. And thirdly, pointing to a symmetry deficit and the need to acknowledge the overarching and defining relationships of power in this conflict. With a message here that while Israel's rights cannot be sacrificed, they should also not come at the expense of Palestinian rights. Is there really nothing more to say about how to address the legitimate concerns and aspirations of both peoples? The rights of both Jews and Palestinians to self-determination without placing one right on top of the other or pitting one against the other? For security not to be something that either Israelis or Palestinians can have, but a necessity for both. Council also heard that Israeli civilians continue to be subjected to attacks by Palestinians and vice versa, while Israeli settlements continue to be a source of deep division. Occupied Palestine, including Jerusalem, is the target of a comprehensive and pervasive policy of colonization and erasure. We can talk about settlements forever, you have the numbers, but it is nothing but a collective form of expansion, colonization and erasure, of displacement and replacement, in which Israel is appropriating everything Palestinian. Does the Security Council really want to give a platform? Israel's ambassador criticized the council for allowing itself to be used as a vehicle against his country. When you allow this body to be turned again and again into a platform for the most outrageous anti-Israel libels, you are not only stopping the train of peace from moving forward, you are knocking it off the tracks. As I said, these debates reflect an alternate and false reality, detached from the reality on the ground. An alternate reality in which hundreds of Palestinian terror attacks are not this council's focus, while every Israeli court ruling regarding illegal Palestinian construction becomes the most critical crisis in the Middle East. The UN Secretariat confirming that it was actively engaged in advancing efforts toward greater engagement, including through the Middle East Quartet. Sherwin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.